in today's video, guys, I'm not only going to show you the best Fortnite OG season in-game settings, but also the best stretch resolution, the best colorblind mode, additional steps to boost your FPS, how to get super low input delay, a secret method, Mero, the FNCS winner has been using in order to get lower ping than anyone else, and as well, the best NVIDIA settings in order to give you the best competitive advantage. So therefore, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, guys, and make sure you join the Discord. We're over 100k members, so therefore, if you have any questions, always feel free to join them. So guys, and of course, I'm now about to show you, first of all, the best in-game settings so that your Fortnite looks exactly like mine right here in the background, super colorful and vibrant, and we have super nice visuals. First of all, guys, of course, you have to play on full screen. Don't play on Windows. This gives you more input delay. Then for the resolutions, guys, I can recommend you something like 1440 times 1080, 1750 times 1080, and you can super easy, by the way, apply it with a tool which is going to be called Alpha Res. You can find it over on my Discord in the Performance Packs channel. Literally, just simply have to open it up, type in there exactly which resolution you guys want to play on, put the FPS, free FPS underneath your maximum refresh rate if you have over 60 or 75 hertz, and then just simply click under OK. And next time you join the game, guys, it's actually going to be in that resolution. Then for my rendering mode, of course, guys, I'm using the Performance mode. If you're on NVIDIA or Intel, if you're on AMD, on the other hand, please make sure to utilize DirectX 12. Then for my graphics settings, so that your Fortnite looks exactly like mine, guys, you have to put your brightness on 121, user interface contest on 1x, the colorblind mode, you gotta put the per turn up, and the colorblind strength to 7. Then for these settings, guys, of course, my 3D res is on 100%, but I wanna showcase you, you could even theoretically put it to something like 70%, and it would still look really, really good, and gives you a nice FPS boost. And then finally, for the viewing distance near, of course, this gives you around 250, 300 meters, which is more than enough. As you can see, guys, even down here in 3 middle of loot lake it would be 238 meters so you can still see perfectly fine and then for the textures of course on low and report performance sets on disabled next up on the game settings make sure that you select your region directly make sure also that you bind your preferred item slot guys this is so broken and i don't know why so many people don't use this actually for my mouse and keyboard settings guys anything between 5 to 8 percent on 800 dpi is what most fortnite pros are using i'm using personally a 6.7 on 800 dpi as mentioned and then for your audio settings please make sure that you put your sound quality actually on low this will actually cause stutter if you have it on high and if you're playing on a more budget friendly pc of course visual sound effects should be on off because it's pretty hardware demanding but those are the best fortnite settings in my opinion and now i'm about to show you how to get more fps so guys and the tool which we're going to be utilizing in order to squeeze out the best performance out of our current gaming pc is the ultimate windows tweaker version 4.0 this is the one for windows 10 there's also one for windows 11 you can by the way find everything in this guide on my official website the link is going to be in the description or my discord and once we get it then this is exactly how it should look like and you're going to launch the exit then once the tool is started guys we don't really care about all the system information so we're gonna go straight up over to performance and i want you to make sure that you copy all of my steps in the first place we're gonna drag both of these here all the way to the left side and then here we can actually disable some services of windows directly guys and this is super important we have something like disable edge tab preloading which is just like a cosmetical thing of windows then disable tablet input services then we also have something like disable prefetch services which is really important the same with the super fetch services those are two just processes of microsoft pre-installed on every pc in order to collect data of you. And then for me as well, guys, I can also disable the printer spooling service since I don't use a printer and also disable Microsoft Edge preloading. I mean, no one really utilizes it anyways, right? And once we're done with these here, guys, we're gonna go over now here to security and privacy. And in the first place, guys, I wouldn't really recommend you to change anything here under the first one, primary functions, because this is everything stuff which you need. Something like your registry, control panel, task manager, you definitely don't want to disable these. So therefore, just to make sure that you leave this first page, but over on privacy again, guys, we have so many many processes which are collecting data or are in general really unnecessarily for our experience but they're actually really hardware demanding something like disable telemetry biometrics and we have also something like disable and reset advertising id this is basically when you get like super specific ads directly on your windows we don't really care about it and yeah therefore make sure these are disabled then as well disable cortana this voice ai tool which is directly built into windows so therefore in here you can simply make sure that you check all of these and all of them are gonna get instantly disabled guys don't worry about anything here these are all really unnecessarily something like disable app access to microphone if you actually have a tool like obs or a game it's anyways gonna get administration rights in order to access this this is really just simply coming down to the fact that windows can utilize this and once we're done with this guys i'm gonna give you an extra tip under additional we can see here now enable the network adapter onboard processor and this one is super important since so many main modes nowadays have a network adapter on board and these also have a processor for everything which you do network related so therefore no matter which network data you have if it's games or discord it's actually gonna get processed directly by your CPU and not this specific onboard processor, which is going to result in higher pings, so therefore make sure that this one is enabled. And once we're done with
done with all of these here guys we're gonna click under apply tweaks and then we're already good to go we can close the tool it's gonna tell us here since you have applied tweaks we recommend you that you reset your pc of course then this next step guys i want you to open up your epic games launcher and click under your name and then go under settings once we're in here we're going to scroll down a little bit until we can actually find fortnite open it up and there it already says auto update fortnite of course but as well additional common land arguments and this one you have to check in the first place once it's actually checked guys i want you to paste in all of the following comments which you can find from the video description underneath we have land play no splash no texture streaming and use all available cores once that paste in here you're going to close this real quick and open up again just to double check if it's actually applied and then we can go back here into our library because in here now we want to find fortnite and click under options and here i see a huge mistake which a lot of people do guys you should really only have fortnite core and battle royale checked in here anything like safety world should be unchecked high resolution textures also unchecked and DirectX 12 shader as well unchecked and the same goes by the way as well for all of the language packages guys you really only want to make sure to check the one which you're actually using in game and then we're going to click under apply and you're instantly going to notice that your fortnite is going to feel so much smoother actually then this next step guys what i want to do is hop onto my official discord discord.gg slash lost drives and then you're going to click onto the search icon and type in that filter keys because this is a tool which we're going to be utilizing to actually reduce our input delay of our keyboard then you can actually put it onto your desktop we have now the filter keys file in here we're going to open it up and in there we have filter keys setup which can actually help us to reduce the input delay of our keyboard and making it super fast for us to spam keys which is really important for editing so therefore we're going to launch filter key setter and you can see we also have directly in here actually a sheet with all of the best settings so all you guys got to do is make sure that you copy all of the settings ignore under zero milliseconds repeat delay to 150 and repeat rate to 25 on the right side only on and away both should be checked and then we're already good to go all you guys got to do is click under apply and now you can see that you can spam your keys a lot fast which is going to give you a huge advantage for competitive fortnite and the best part about it is it's already changed now in your registry directly so you don't have to let this run every single time in the background and next up guys since so many people always ask me how i have such insanely low ping in fortnite i'm actually utilizing the gr booster which you can use by the way for absolutely free with the link in the description it's a tool which is going to help you to get the least amount of ping in all of your favorite games it doesn't matter if you want to play fortnite counter-strike valorant no matter what guys they always got you covered and let's just say that we're going to connect to fortnite this by the way also the tool which marrow the fncs global championship winner is actually using right now the tool is actively in the background looking for the best dns server for me to play play on fortnite so therefore you can see my ping is only 10 milliseconds which is insanely low in rank guys so therefore in creative it's gonna be even lower and it already gave an improvement of 85 percent you can also see the connection between your pc and your router and then your router and the actual game server guys and the best part about it is we have as well now here adaptive intelligent routing which is basically actively in the background scanning always 24 7 for the best dns server in your near so therefore if there's one which is even better it's going to automatically switch you over to that one to always make sure that you have the least amount of ping as mentioned mero has been using this and as well asian jeff so therefore two really high tier pros so therefore you can see top tier fortnite pros are using this and as mentioned with the link in the description you can try it out for absolutely free and by the way also giving away five memberships for the gr booster make sure to dm me over on discord.gg slash the stripes with a screenshot that you actually subscribe to my channel and i'm picking five winners now for the best nvidia control panel settings guys what you want to do is make sure you open them up for of course in the first place just simply type in the nvidia until you can find it and then under just image settings with preview guys you don't want to make this common issue don't put it on use my preference and put it to performance because you actually have to click on to take me there if you use this third option all of these settings which are in here right now they're not going to get applied so therefore under manage 3d settings guys you're going to make sure that you copy all of my specific settings which i applied here they're all of the best they're all literally the best for the least amount of input delay and highest fps possible on your pc we can see something like image scaling completely turned off ambient occlusion anti-aliasing anti-strophic filtering except gamma correction completely on off everything the same with background application maximum frame rate i mean it's kind of interesting feature let's just say as an example that you have google chrome running in the background you can actually limit it to 20 fps which is kind of nice test it out maybe for your pc under CUDA gpus you want to make sure to put it on all but this only really matters if you have multiple gpus for me i don't really have an integrated gpu right now you're on my cpu so therefore it doesn't matter i only have my main one but if you have multiple gpus you should make sure to select the one which you actually want to apply for gaming so most likely the dedicated one then guys you can see factors completely turned off 
low latency mode. This one is a tough one, guys, because so many pros are arguing if either Honor Ultra is better. For me, actually, on right now feels the best, I have to say. So therefore, try it out for yourself. Then we can see power management mode on preferred maximum performance. Refresh rate, of course, on the highest available, guys. Don't keep it on application control. Shader cache size put to 10 gigs so it actually gets refreshed after some time because sometimes you might have interrupted files in there which cause stutter. And then as well, texture filtering quality on high performance and the rest you can simply make sure to copy. Once you're done with that, we're gonna go over to change resolution and I see so many people actually go under Ultra HD and then wondering why they can't go above 120 hertz if they have maybe a 144, 240, 360 hertz monitor. Well guys, you actually have to go down to PC resolutions and then you can select the highest one which is available for you. Then as well, adjust desktop color settings. For me personally guys, I always put my digital vibrance all the way up to 75%. This one looks the best. And then under adjust video color settings, again guys, the same thing and I put my saturation up to 75% as well. And then we're going to click under apply and we're already good to go. 